Hello, today's devotional can be found in Helaman chapter 11, verse 7. And it came to pass that the people saw that they were about to perish by famine, and they began to remember the Lord their God. And they began to remember the words of Nephi. Sometimes it takes a big event for people to remember God, and to remember that they are his children, and to remember that they cannot handle life on their own. We are mortal, therefore we are imperfect, we are limited by our mortal selves, our spirits have inhabited these bodies, and we have wonderful spirits. We have very aged spirits. But we only progress as fast as our bodies are willing to go. And only as fast as we choose to go. We should not walk faster than we have strength. We should not run before we can walk. We should not think that life is a big party and there's no consequences to our actions, so we can just do whatever we want in making the most of our lives. We should realize that as immortals we are very fragile and very frail and our choices do have consequences. And that all will experience either trials of faith or trials created by one's choices. And God brings forth trials to test our faith. Or through our bad behavior, he brings forth trials to teach us lessons. And we can get out of the trials if we see we can cannot fare without the Lord our God. And we don't have to fare without the Lord our God. The Lord gives us multiple warnings whether or not we are with him. He invites us to come unto Christ and as we are and be perfected in Him. And He gives us prophets and scriptures and resources that we may learn and grow according to our willingness to become like our Father in Heaven. For we can become gods if we put the work in and if we heed the atonement and if we just stay close to God. Some people think they don't need the Lord to succeed in life. Well, I hate to tell you this, but the Lord gives everyone everything. And He can take it away just as easily. So if, if you think you can handle life without the Lord, that's somewhat foolish. Because He gives everyone everything they need to succeed. And to grow and to flourish. And we should not be afraid to turn to the Lord because without the Lord we are more likely to go a different path than what he intended for us. And we are more vulnerable to Satan. And if we allow Satan to influence, we, can, we become trapped in a lifestyle and our agency is no longer free and we, and we suffer from spiritual famine under the point where we shall perish and the Lord is there to help us. And sometimes it takes big trials for people to remember the Lord. And sometimes it even takes death and waiting in spiritual prison to remember the Lord, but all will have a chance to have the best eternal rewards that one can have, thanks to the atonement and thanks to the love of God. Everyone remembers the Lord in it, at their own pace. The Lord always remembers us because He loves us. Christ loves us, He died for us, and we need to remember that. Without that sacrifice, we wouldn't stand a snowball's chance. 
And with that said, I love you all so very much. And I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.